TJ, let's just talk for a second about life's turns. In 2002, you moved to War Road, your father's hometown. Um, you led War Road to two state high school hockey championships, UND after that, and now you're a Stanley Cup champion. Where's your father, Tim, figuring this win tonight? TJ Oshie's story is one about discovering a sense of purpose and belonging. A story about the bond a father shares with his son. A story about memories and the suffocating pressure we all feel to make them before it's too late. Oshi was a familiar name in Warroad just from his great uncle Max, who was uh, maybe the first real star for Warroad High School. 1948, the legendary story about Max Oshi is he scored 12 goals in a game against Thief River Falls. It's a state record that still hasn't been touched. When I first heard, hey, there's an Oshi kid that's moving to town from, from the Seattle area, I thought, well, that's a familiar name. You know, he's got family in the area. When Oshi's parents separated, his father, Tim, who TJ affectionately refers to as coach, brought TJ to Warroad. Their cousin is Henry Boucher, a full-blooded Chippewa Ojibwe. He was called Chief during his playing days. Tim and I have always been really close. I said, you, you have to do it. I said, you got free ice time. I'll help you out. Henry Boucher was, was out there, and uh, ever since I was uh, probably 10 or so, he's been telling me to come out there and move out there. TJ was not a great player when he arrived. Uh, he just got immersed in the world hockey town hockey culture. You know, they live it 24-7, 12 months a year, and just started to develop into a player. And by the end of that season, he was one of the best high school players in Minnesota. Well, lo and behold, his first year there, he's a sophomore, he's playing on the top line. They win a state championship. Um, my favorite stat is he played in Warroad for three years and lost a total of five games, which is just incredible. It felt like it couldn't get any better, really. Um, when we, we won twice, and uh, both times you just feel like you're the king of a, of a town. TJ Oshie was an NHL mainstay from day one, but in 2013, the Oshie family was dealt a blow. At the Barnes Jewish Hospital in St. Louis, Coach was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's. When he was first diagnosed, the, the doctor told me that it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be hard, and there's a chance that it could happen really fast. I feel like the ability to really be in the moment, from what I know or from what I've seen from coach, he gets nervous and worried that he's forgetting something, even if he's not. It's got to be one of the hardest things for him to, or for anyone with Alzheimer's to um, to deal with and cope with. In 2015, Oshi was traded to a Washington Capitals team bulking up for deep playoff pushes. For years, they were close, but never close enough. People said the window had closed. People said Alex Ovechkin could never lead them to a Stanley Cup. But last year, they proved it doesn't matter what people say. When it became a reality that Washington was going to win and the thought that the Cup would probably come to Warroad for the first time. Uh, for a kid from Warroad, that's, that's about as good as it gets to see you know, TJ skating around the ice with the Stanley Cup over his head. TJ, let's just talk for a second about life's turns. In 2002, you moved to Warroad, your father's hometown. Um, you led Warroad to two state high school hockey championships, UND after that, and now you're a Stanley Cup champion. Where's your father, Tim, figuring this win tonight? Oh. If you're making me cry, really, now. My dad's here in the crowd. Uh, he is uh, he's diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and he doesn't, uh, he doesn't remember a lot of stuff, but you bet your ass he's going to remember this one. I love you, now. I love you. I love you, John. We did it. We stuck together. Yeah, we did. I love you, son. I love you, coach. Yeah. One of the great traditions in hockey, each player on the cup winning team spends a day with the trophy. More often than not, that day turns into a tribute, a thank you from the player to his people. Hockey Town USA welcome to TJ Oshie and the Stanley Cup. I didn't really fall in love with the game, I don't think, until I had my first time out here in Warroad. 
with all the all the state championships that you see, section championships, all the gold medals this town has, and now a Stanley Cup, there's no doubt Boro truly is Hockey Town USA. I played six years in National Hockey League. My chase for the Stanley Cup was, was cut short. You know, everybody's so damn proud. You know, it, it kind of fulfills all of our dreams, you know, to finally finally have some somebody or one of our own be on that team and, uh, and win the Stanley Cup and actually bring it home. To have TJ come along and, and you know, kind of represent the family and represent the native community and represent the Warroad community in general and have his story involve winning a Stanley Cup and returning to Warroad triumphantly is, is kind of a neat uh, bookend to, to that family story. Coach, just leave this next to you. Okay. So you can hang out with it okay. for a little bit. All right. What a great thing. What a great thing for all of our families and, you know, it's pretty special. Real special. I think what's, what scares me the most is, is if I ever hear Coach forget one of my little girls. I think that would be the, that'd be the hardest thing for me. Uh, it'd be hard if you, if you forgot my name and who I was. But I've had, uh, I've had some, a lot of good times with them. If you didn't know Lila and Lenny, that would, that would, that would hurt. Who's this over here? Who's that? If my dad didn't put in all the extra effort, I probably would have never got that competitive edge to to go on to, to play in the NHL for 10 years and to, and to win the Stanley Cup. So um, if anything, I hope people can learn from Coach and learn from, from his fight and as best I can teach people how he raised me because he was, uh, he, he was, really was the best. <laughs>